it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Green Duck Brewery. And I'm really excited for this one because um, it just sounds fantastic. Diamonds to Coal Export Stout. This is an 8% ABV export stout. Oh, do, do you know there's some beer styles out there that Grab your attention. I like the word Imperial Stout. I really do. I like the word Imperial Porter. I really do. But there's something about Export Stout. That makes my imagination run wild. Absolutely run wild. Don't ask me why. Maybe it's the fact that every single export stout that I've had has been blindingly good. Diamonds to coal as well. I mean, of course, it's the other way around, isn't it? Uh, coal to diamonds. So they call this diamonds. I, I don't know. Please comment in the comments box down below. Why is it called diamonds to coal? Um, I know in Wales, um, we used to call coal black gold it used to be called black gold in the day look at that i got a brucey bonus on the back of my on, on, on not on the back of my hand but mm, on the palm of my hand look at this i knew it was gonna be good i can just tell look look oh There's something about an export stout. They should make a film about it, shouldn't they? Not about Mary, about export stout. Oh, this, whenever I have an export stout, they look, smell, feel like this. Now, I'm holding this beer at half an arm's distance. And I kid you not, I'm getting a terrific, a terrific aroma, even from here. I'm smelling roasted chocolate, coffee, caramel, Oh, just, just wonderful. Look at it. Look, look at the quality of this beer. One of the breweries of 2022 for me. One of the breweries of 2022. Before I went to Brew London, I'll be perfectly honest with you, and I'm pretty sure the guys of Green Duck don't mind, um, I'd never tried a Green Duck beer. There's so many breweries now in the UK, so many, there's like hundreds and hundreds of breweries, that, that, you, that you literally kind of... Like, the only opportunity you have to try their style of beer or, or a beer is if you go to a beer festival and you see that they've got a stand, like I did in Brew London. And I visited their stand. Um, I had such a laugh. I had such a laugh. We were, you know, it's just, just a really good, kind of chilled, relaxed, try some beers, tell a joke, have a laugh, talk about the festival. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Because, of course... And I mean this with the greatest of respects. You go to some stands and they're very corporate. Uh, they kind of, they're marketing people, aren't they? So you may turn up at Brewery Hatchet, which is a Belgian brand trying to break into the UK. I think they go Brewery Hatched. H-A-A. TCA or CHT, that that Belgian brewery, and it's all very formal. It's all very kind of like these are our beers. This is our pamphlet to look at. Here's a taste. What do you think? And then it's kind of end of conversation. And then you go to other like like you go to Green Duck, or you go to other kind of like beer stands in, in somewhere like Brew London, and they're just people brewing beer. And they tell jokes and they have a laugh and they tap you on the back when they see you next time, maybe in the toilet or or at the food stall or, you know, hey, how's it going, Simon, or that sort of thing. And, I, and I've got to be honest with you, I much prefer that. I much prefer that kind of have a joke, have a laugh, good people over kind of over marketing, really, over marketing. <clears throat> And the fact that they brew 
or what this looks like an excellent beard is, is a bonus, isn't it? It's a, it's a real bonus. Look at that beard. Look at that beard. Jet black, incredible looking stuff. Head doesn't want to dissipate at all. Aroma. Roasty, roasty, roasty. Chocolate coffee caramel. Loads of roasted malt. Loads of oats as well. Vanilla. I'm diving into this one. Cheers. Close my eyes and just... Oh. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible beer. When I review beers of this quality... I feel like I got the best job in the world. There's no better job out there when you get to stand here on a Monday morning at a quarter to ten and drink incredible export stouts like that. I've got the best job in the world. That is explosive, incredible, tremendous beer. It starts off with this big, rich, used engine oil like quality to it. There's a little bit of plum and fig and prune with the hops in the beer. There's loads of roasted malt flavours coming through. The chocolate, the coffee, the caramel, for example, are just incredible. There's a touch of vanilla. There's a touch of peppery spiciness. There's a fantastic almost overload of bitterness coming through. So you've got two, two arms of bitterness. You've got the bitterness coming from the roasted malt and you've got the bitterness coming from the hops. That is beyond brilliant beer. Beyond brilliant beer. Whoa! You can see it for yourself. I just took a sip of the beer from this angle of the glass. You can see the lace in. You can almost see my lip marks in the glass. As I rock the beer back and forth, you can see the carbonation chasing the head of the glass. You can see the big, thick oiliness of the beer. Have a look at the beer as I roll it round in the glass. Look at the quality. Look at that quality. Just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Let's see if it's can conditioned. Oh. See if there's any bits of sediment in the bottom of the glass. I don't think so. I don't think so. But just, just tremendous beer. Just fantastic, tremendous beer, this. It's so creamy and rich. You get the subtle flavours of plum and fig and prune. Now, normally with a beer, normally with a golden ale, if you were drinking a golden ale, you'd put hops in and you would naturally get flavours of tangerine, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, if they were kind of new world hops. But when you do that same thing, when you add new world hops to a a beer with roasted malt 
it changes the direction of the flavor of the hop. So no more are you getting tangerine plum, uh, tangerine grapefruit, orange peel. You're getting more of a darker fruit because the, the roasted malt, of course, is a lot darker. So it changes the flavor of the hops from citrusy flavored hops to, to more kind of like something at Christmas time, a plum, a fig, a prune. I will never get sick and tired of beer. I will never get sick and tired of beer because of just the complexity of the beer. I've not even talked about the oats in this beer yet. I've not even talked about the amount of oats in the beer and the roasted malt just to create that creaminess, that richness, that, that fantastic oil, used engine oil kind of mouth slickness that's going on. Tremendous, absolutely tremendous. We wanted to produce a proper stout, no gimmicks or tricks involved. Expect deep notes of chocolate and coffee, plenty of roasted malt alongside biscuit and rich dark fruit flavours. Green Duck Beer Company on Facebook. Green underscore duck underscore brewery for Instagram. And Twitter is Green Duck Brew. They're from Stourridge in the UK. The ingredients are malt, water, hops and yeast. The malt is pale, chocolate, brown, amber, roast and black. And to be honest with you, they've not even used, the, they've not even used oats in the beer. That's bonkers. There's no oats in the beer. It's so thick and creamy, you would come to expect oats, but they're not there. The hops are Phoenix and the dry hop is Columbus. So, so they are indeed like New World hops. And it's greenduckbrewery.co.uk if you want to order some beer from them. Have a look at that branding. That's the branding that they use if you want to kind of, if you see them at a beer festival or you're looking for them. But I'm so pleased I found this, this this company. I'm so pleased that I chatted with them and I've drank their beer. And I think they're one to look out for in 2023. I really do. If it's a brewery that you want to get good quality beer from, check out Green Duck. I like this export stout enough to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.